There was so much interest in the Queen's perfume video linked below that I'm back today to talk about Princess Diana's favorite fragrances. A humanitarian and a style icon, Princess Diana had several fragrances on her vanity. First, her butler said that she would never leave home without a splash of Van Cut Fubu by Hermes, and I cannot do a French accent, so apologies for butchering that. You can still get this perfume, and it has notes of white florals like gardenia and hyacinth and a warm base of sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. Next, for her wedding day, she wore Quelque Fleur by Ubigan, and that was first released in 1912. So it's similar to the Hermes, it has sandalwood and amber base notes with oak moss and then top notes of tuberose, rose, and jasmine. Honestly, not too far off from the Queen's preferences. Last, her makeup artist said that for everyday activities, Diana favored Bluebell by Penhaligons. I actually love this brand. They have very interesting scents and beautiful bottles. This one has citrus, rose, cinnamon, and cloves, so a little bit more spicy than the other one. Now, if Princess Diana were alive today, she actually died when I was 12, same age as Prince Harry. I would suggest Lady Day. This one would have been her favorite. It was actually inspired by Billie Holiday. It has Lily of the Valley, notes of opium, tonka bean, and then Diana's favorites, gardenias and peaches. I also recommend Bolin, which uncomfortable similarities there. But this one has top notes of vegan civet, champagne, violet, and some spicy koi dragon's blood. I would also really love to put her in some Zelda, which is a darker rose and it has some cardamom and tobacco. I think she would have liked that. Last, I mentioned this in the Queen's video, but Diana's great, great, great time 16 aunt, the Duchess of Devonshire, Georgiana Cavendish, inspired this perfume that smells like a cup of Earl Grey tea because her lover and baby daddy was Lord Earl Grey. Yes, the guy that Earl Grey tea is named after. If you'd like more of these royal perfume pairings, let me know in the comments.